Hello friends, welcome to A to Z industry. This video focuses on important MCQs related to respiratory system. Inspiratory muscles are diaphragm, external intercostal muscles, sternomastoid scalene, all of the above. All of the above. Primary inspiratory muscles are diaphragm, external intercostal muscles. Accessory inspiratory muscles are sternomastoid, scalene and anterior serratus. Primary expiratory muscles are internal intercostals. Accessory expiratory muscles are muscles of abdomen. Tidal volume in adult is 125 ml, 500 ml, 1500 ml, 2200 ml. 500 ml. Tidal volume in adult is 500 ml. Inspiratory reserve volume is 3300 ml. Then expiratory reserve volume is 1000 ml. Residual volume is 1200 ml. The amount of air remaining in the lungs at the end of post expiration. Expiratory reserve volume, functional residual capacity, residual volume, inspiratory reserve volume. Residual volume. Volume of air in the lungs at the end of normal expiration is expiratory reserve volume, functional residual capacity, residual volume, inspiratory reserve volume. Functional residual capacity. Volume of air in the lung at the end of normal expiration is functional residual capacity. Vital capacity is a measure of TV, TV plus IRV, ERV plus RV, IRV plus TV plus ERV. IRV plus TV plus ERV. Vital capacity is a measure of inspiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume. Anatomic dead space is 150 ml, 100 ml. 200 ml, 250 ml, 150 ml. Dead space increased by all except standing position, emphysema, tracheostomy, endotracheal intubation. Tracheostomy. Dead space is decreased by supine position, neck fully flexed with depressed chin, low lung volumes. Tracheostomy. Dead space increased by standing position, emphysema, neck extension, endotracheal intubation. Ventilation perfusion ratio is highest in base, apex, both A and B, none of the above. Apex. Ventilation perfusion ratio is the ratio between pulmonary ventilation and pulmonary blood flow. It's about 0.8. BQ ratio is high at the apex of the lungs. In case of blood flow, it's lowest at the apex and highest at the base of the lungs. Lung surfactant produced by type 1 alveolar epithelial cells, type 2 alveolar epithelial cells, type 3 alveolar epithelial cells, type 4 alveolar epithelial cells. Type 2 alveolar epithelial cells. Type 2 alveolar epithelial cells, otherwise known as pneumocytes. Functions are, it reduces alveolar surface tension, prevent alveolar collapse. Lung compliance is increased in emphysema, paralysis of respiratory muscles, pleural effusion, pneumothorax. Emphysema. Lung compliance is the measure of lung's ability to stretch and expand. Oxygen dissociation curve shift to right by rise in temperature, rise in carbon dioxide tension, rise in 2-3 dpg, all of the above. All of the above. Oxygen dissociation curve shift to right by rise in temperature, rise in acid, rise in carbon dioxide tension, rise in exercise, rise in 
Increase in partial pressure of carbon dioxide leading to release of oxygen to the tissues is Halden effect, Bohr effect, Hamburger shift, Chloride shift. Bohr effect. Type of hypoxia present in high altitude. Hypoxic hypoxia, stagnant hypoxia, anemic hypoxia, histotoxic hypoxia. Hypoxic hypoxia. Oxygen therapy is useful in hypoxic hypoxia, stagnant hypoxia, anemic hypoxia, histotoxic hypoxia. Hypoxic hypoxia. Oxygen therapy is not effective in histotoxic hypoxia. Type of hypoxia seen in carbon monoxide poisoning. Hypoxic hypoxia, stagnant hypoxia, anemic hypoxia, histotoxic hypoxia. Anemic hypoxia. Anemic hypoxia seen in carbon monoxide poisoning. Hypercapnia is increased carbon dioxide content of blood, increased carbon monoxide content of blood, increased ferric dioxide content of blood, increased oxygen content of blood. Increased carbon dioxide content of blood. Customer breathing seen in diabetic ketoacidosis, alkalosis, hyperventilation, all of the above. Diabetic ketoacidosis. Increase in rate and depth of respiration is known as customal breathing and it's seen in diabetic ketoacidosis and anemia. Which of the following will produce bronchodilation? Epinephrine, sympathetic nervous system, antihistamine drug, all of the above. All of the above. It's all about the topic respiratory system. See you with a new video. Thank you.